Ever wonder why it was the fish that became such an important symbol in the Christian church and uh, not something like a uh, you know, flaming tiger head that spit swords? Well, you're in luck because we're talking about the sign of the fish in this episode of Chuck Nose Church. Hey, wait up, buddy. Since I was a kid in church, I remember hearing so many references to fish. Uh, like in the Gospels when Jesus said, I will make you fishers of men. Or when the disciples got stuck with only five loaves and two fish to feed thousands. And Jesus made it happen. And weren't the first disciples fishermen? Peter, Andrew, James, and John? So no surprise how the fish, or more specifically, the sign of the fish became a way for Christians to identify each other. You see, after the tomb was found empty, and Jesus was resurrected, it wasn't always safe till around town as a follower of Christ. Believers were ridiculed and persecuted. And in the beginning, non-believers far outnumbered the Christians. So to make sure it was safe to talk about Jesus and the good news, the sign of the fish became a sort of uh, secret handshake for strangers. See, the first stranger might simply draw a line on the ground, kind of like this. which could then be completed with a second line drawn by another person. Kind of like this, indicating a fish. Or, hey, I'm a Christian too. Not to be confused with, hey, wanna go to Red Lobster? And if they are at risk of being exposed as Christians, it could be erased just as fast. All clear. See you on down the road, good buddy. Just two Christians making a connection with the sign of the fish long before the invention of the bumper decal. Now, if you want to learn more, ask your pastor. Uh, tell him Chuck sent you.